Happy Saturday morning, everybody. Today, I am going to clean, check up on, verify a lot of plants. But the first one that I am going to check is my papyrus. I usually put it in a place where I can easily reach it and see it. Because the papyrus is very water hungry. You can put a, pap a papyrus in a double pot. Meaning you put it in a pot that has holes. And then in another pot that doesn't have holes so you can um, water it as much as possible. But I go with the easy solution and I just put it in a place where there's no holes and I just fill it with water. When do we fertilize it? Spring, if any. And um, you don't have to maintain it very often. The only thing that you have to do is whenever you are seeing any yellowing tips i'm sorry i'm trying to look for a good place to put it whenever you're seeing yellowing tips you just cut them off this is um a type of rust fungus that's the only thing that might affect the papyrus just cut them off cut off anything that is dead and keep on watering. This one needs water up to the rim and I usually water it every few days. But I don't let it dry up. If it dries up, it's in deep trouble. The debris will go in the garbage. I will not compost them because I do not want the rust fungus to proliferate in my other plants when I use the compost. I had no problem cutting the heads of some of the stems because I know it's just going to keep on growing new shoots. It always does that. Maybe I should put it in a bigger pot. 
maybe that's going to be my decision in the in the some in the spring when uh, usually plants start to speed up their growth whenever i know i will not be in my uh, house for a long period of time knowing that i have to water my papyrus every other day uh, or every couple of days i just take it away from the sun and put it in a cooler temperature nothing under 15 degrees degrees celsius i'm sorry and this will slow down the rate at which the plant is absorbing the water so that's gonna save me a little bit when i come back uh, from my vacation i will be able to go back to watering it as normal as, pos as possible go back to watering it um, regularly just as normal if you leave for about more than one or two weeks I strongly suggest you to call somebody to see if they can water the papyrus for you one thing that you have to keep in mind is not to let the papyrus dry out if it is for a little weekend at the chalet you're gonna be fine if it is for one or two weeks just put it in a less exposed place with a little bit um, lower temperature and you should be fine as well longer than that just call on somebody if if possible to check on uh, check up on the, the papyrus I'm back it's way later I had to run some errands go do my hair uh, and did a little bit my nails but that's what I wanted to say about the papyrus thank you for watching my video <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe and also check all the other videos that I have on this channel I have a lot more things in store for you regarding indoor gardening outdoor gardening uh, worm composting that's another doozy so we'll talk about that later on and take care of yourselves bye